guys and welcome back to my channel today i will be sharing a recipe for beef chow mein this is a subscriber request keisha ramsey she requested this recipe and today is your lucky day so here i have my beef already seasoned and i'll be using these chow mein noodles here it's champion chow mein this is my favorite so that's what i'll be using i have some carrots cabbage uh, some onions, bell peppers, I'll be using some broccoli, some green peas. I also have some garlic, green onions, some ginger for my sauces. I have teriyaki sauce, uh, housing sauce. I'll be using dark sweet soy sauce and light soy sauce. I also have some black pepper, all-purpose seasoning, some Chinese five spice. So let's rewind back to how I season the beef. Here I have some thin sliced beef and I think it's wrong top steak or something like that. I'm not sure but yeah this is the beef that I got and what I did was chop it into bite sizes and washed it up really well in some lemon juice and I used some sesame oil, uh, some light soy sauce, dark sweet soy sauce, some of my green seasoning, cornstarch and I have here some five spice chicken bouillon and black pepper what i did was add everything to the meat mix really well and set aside to marinate for about an hour So before we get started, you want to add all of the sauces to a bowl and combine all of them. You want to mix them really well and just set it aside until we're ready for it later. In a pot of boiling water, I will now add my noodles and I will not be salting the water because the sauces I'm using are high in sodium. And it's enough salt and flavor there to coat your noodles and make them tasty. You do not need salt. But if you want to add salt to this, you can go right ahead and do what you prefer. We'll boil this for about 8 to 10 minutes. And once it looks like this, that's how you know it's done. You do not want to overcook your noodles. Once they start to look like this, they are done. You will strain it, run some cold water over and set aside. So in my preheated wok, I did add about a third cup of oil. And what we'll do here is cook the beef first. We'll add them in and we'll do this in batches so as to not overcrowd the pot. So you want to cook the beef for about two minutes or a minute and a half. And then we'll remove them. You don't want to cook them long because the beef will become tough and you do not want that. So you want to cook this for about a minute and a half. Once it browns up nicely, we'll remove it and carry on with the same process. In the same pot, I did remove some of the oil and now I'll add some sesame oil. And we will go in with our onions and bell peppers. We'll also add the garlic and the ginger here and we'll allow this to go for about two to three minutes. Next, we'll add our green beans and the broccoli. Since they take the longest to cook, we'll give them a good toss and allow it to go for about three minutes. Next, we'll add our carrots and cabbage since they take the least amount of time to cook. Then we'll add our seasonings just to flavor them up a bit. We'll give it a toss and allow it to go for about two minutes. So at this point, we'll now add our sauce here and we'll allow the sauce to heat up for about two to three minutes. Next, you want to add the beef, give it a good toss, then we'll add the chow mein noodles here. 
We'll give that a toss. At this point, you can turn the heat off because everything is pretty much done. We just need to toss the noodles in here and then we'll top it off with some green onions and that's it. This is how I make a super delicious beef chow mein and you guys will not regret trying this recipe. And here you have it guys, my version of a delicious beef chow mein. It is absolutely divine. If you try this, you will never go back to eating that same boring chow mein recipe ever again. It is better than any takeout. Super healthy, yummy, and amazing. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me. I will be leaving all my ingredients and measurements down in the description box, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day and enjoy!